<laughs> mm, Mrs. Carter wants to sleep some more, I take it. Yeah, this little one's been pretty active. Isn't she, darling? Mm -hmm. She's going home tomorrow, huh? Carla, how would you like to go home early, huh? Mm. Really? We've got seven patients, seven babies, and five nurses. That's one more nurse than the budget calls for. If anyone should go home early, it ought to be you. You need to elevate that leg. Carla, if I went home early every time I sprained my ankle skiing, I'd be out of a job. I really can't. 810 I see. 810 I. Head nurse in charge. Uh -huh. Why don't you go on? We can handle everything we can, really. Let's compromise, okay? I really want to stay and do my midnight meds and vitals, and I'm not real comfortable with the protocol for that C-section with the narcotic epidural. So maybe we can go over that one more time, and then I'm out of here. Ow! Ow. Can I turn around now? Yes. Hello. How are we doing here? I'm fine, Dr. Garrick. Maybe another 20 minutes or so. We'll let you know. All right, I'll be in the doctor's lounge. Appendix. has just broken into the women's center. I want Dr. Garrett, damn it, get it! I don't know Dr. Garrick. I don't, I swear. Don't lie to me. I saw him come in here. Where is he? I don't know who you're talking about. Don't jerk me around! Get I'm him for lying. me! I'm not. She's telling the truth. Get over here! She's new here. She's only been here three days. What do you want? I want that rat son of a bitch. He ruined my marriage. He ruined my family. You ruined my life! Derek! I want him brought here. Now, do not mess with me! I want you to tell me where he is right now. We don't know, I swear. Put the gun away. Oh, yeah, sure, I'll put the gun away. Just as soon as I erase him from the face of the earth. Do I know you? I think we're almost ready for the doctor. <laughs> What's all that yelling out there? It's just the doctors and nurses joking. <laughs> You're not concentrating. I am too. <laughs> oh, good. Push, 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 push. Get out of here! Garrett! What's going on out there? I want Gene Garrett to let Coward get his butt out here. It's time to die! He's not in here. Delivering a baby. Leave us alone. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get, calm down, Carrie. You'll be okay. She's not gonna be okay. This is her worst nightmare. We're all gonna die. 
A guy with a gun's gonna kill us. I dreamt it. Shh, Adam. Calm her down. Kristen, are you okay? Calm down, Carrie. Adam, help her. He won't bother us. Now, everybody, let's just keep calm now. Please, there are newborns in here. Surgical patients. Shut up! What's going on? You! Get out of here! Get out! I'll kill them all! Now! Go! Go! You! Over here! Okay, I want you to grab two of these babies, those two there, wheel them out in the hall. Now, come on, hurry up. Come on, come on! Ah! Get him here, now! Where is he? He's not in here. Don't tell me he's not in here, I saw him. Come in here. Garrick! Garrick! You, don't move! Maybe he's not in the hospital. Uh-oh, I saw him come in. He could have left. That's what you know. I fixed his car for him, so he ain't going anywhere. Unit 343, we have a report of a hostage situation at Alderview Hospital at Vise. I'm approaching Alderview Dispatch, west side of the hospital. 343, we have a report of shots fired. Be advised. Nobody's been hurt. Nobody's been hurt, huh? What about what Garrick did to me? What do you think's happened to my marriage, huh? Sorry. We've got a loose perimeter set up around the hospital. I've sent men in to evacuate the rest of the floors, but we're going to need up. ambulances. Any more shots fired? No, sir. The ambulances are for evacuation of some of the patients. I want SWAT here. Well, we're on statewide channel. East Coker SWAT's already called in to offer a response. We've got county sheriffs on the way, too. Department of Corrections, 15 minutes from here. They got SWAT. Get them here, yes, too. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Oh. OK, everybody down on the floor. You, stay. You, wheel those babies in here. Don't you look at me! You're the first to die tonight, big shot. Boy, everybody wants to be a hero tonight, huh? There's 
one in his office. Find him! Operator? Nancy, this is Barbara. Could you please page Dr. Garrett? Carl has been shot. What? She's in ER. Just page him. Page him. All right, I want you to dial this number, 555-8430. Who should I say is calling? It's my wife. Hello? Hello, who is this? My name's Karen. Karen, Karen, this is Barbara down at Alta View. Your husband is here, and he's holding us with a gun. <laughs> Hello? Are you still there? Yes, I'm here. Do you, do you want to talk to her? Hang it up. But Hang up the phone! <laughs> you. What's your name? Adam. Get up. All right. Now downstairs, outside the door in the bushes, there's a black toolbox. I want you to go get it. Go! And Adam, you got two minutes. If you're not back here, I'm gonna pull the trigger on your wife and little baby. I gave anyone permission to speak in here? What are you talking about behind my back? I was just telling Barbara to adjust the epidural and the IV. And Kristen, I think she's about ready to deliver. But you didn't think it was going to be that heavy, did you? Here. Okay, inside. Back down on the floor now. Okay, you, Barbara, I want you to go to the window, yell outside, and tell them about our little surprise here. What is it? About 42 sticks of dynamite, a thousand concrete nails for shrapnel, and a whole lot of these. Adds up to about a gallon of ether. You know, boom. Richard Worthington, and uh, the hospital has been having problems with him for two and a half what years. What do you mean, problems? <sighs> Threats. Threaten me. She's dead, isn't she? Come on, Doc. Every second's precious. <sighs> All right. About two and a half years ago, I delivered his baby, a boy. Worthington's wife, uh, Karen, wanted me to perform a tubal ligation. And, uh, I mean, it wasn't a surprise. She talked about it with her doctor during her pregnancy. Uh, she'd had 10 pregnancies. Do you want a doctor? Well, I was covering. I didn't want to tie her tubes, but 
She just about jumped out of the bed, epidural and all, and shouted that I will have this done, you can't deny me this, and uh, that's not the way Worthington remembers it, though. He claims that she fell asleep, and then I did. It doesn't happen that way. So he's been threatening me, threatening the hospital. But I didn't take it seriously. Carla. She had a little baby. Oh, no. What? He has Susan Woolley, one of the nurses. And? Susan assisted me in Karen's tubal. What if he recognizes her? What if he decides to kill her like he wanted to do me? think talking about my family is going to make anything better for you? Well, forget it. You're all dead. I got eight. Eight children. Two of them died. Now because of that bastard Garrick, I can't have any more. He sterilized my wife two and a half years ago. He sterilized her. When, when he cut her, he might as well have castrated me. Get that bastard on the phone. Now, why did I go ahead and do that, huh? in here within 20 seconds or someone's gonna die like her leave her alone Le leave her alone <laughs> excuse me did you say leave her alone maybe i should shoot you instead huh go 20 seconds Team three, we're in position. We've got a problem up here. I don't like those street lights. Copy three, don't do anything about them. He's stabilized over here. Pin four. I can't, I can't find him. Dr. Carrick won't come. Well, somebody better get him for me! Damn it! It's gonna be all over you. Get that mother raper up here! Worthington's a landscaper, so yeah, it's possible he's got dynamite. He has access through his work at Blast Rocks. Uh, you wake up some judge, get a search warrant for the house, pick up a bomb tech on the way, you may need it. I'm Crowder. The hostage guy? Oh, yeah. Where do you want to set up? Uh, let's see. Hospital switchboard, that'd be a good place to start. Mm. Any contact with him yet? Uh, nothing, except what he yells out the window. Good. There's too many windows. I got a bomb up here! It's on a mercury switch! Oh. 
No, this is no good. We're getting out of here. Come on, get up. Come on, get up. Soon, command. It's ringing, Captain, but he won't answer. sign a consent. No, they tricked her. They did it while she was sleeping. But you agreed. You knew she signed that. Well, how you know that? I didn't. It's just, it's standard. It's procedure is all I meant by that. Hey, get the bed out of here. Let's go. There's no way with your epidural. Come on. Get her in there. I don't care how you do it. Just do it. Remember, I can get two of you at once with this shotgun, so don't try to get funny. Now, what do you do? Uh, 
for a living. Construction. Oh, yeah? You a carpenter? No, just labor. Oh. All right, I want you to trash his office. You know what I mean, just... Everything? Yeah, everything. Files gotta be in here somewhere. So find it. It's not good enough. Smash the TV. But it'll explode. And maybe you didn't hear me. I said smash the TV. Yeah, but smash it! Last file, it's double. Don't you file. lie to me. Get out of here. All right. Just throw these down on the floor down there. All right. Adam! Adam! Get over here now! Here. I want you to throw these down. Make a pile of these right down there by the office. Oh! Now! Modern gray report. They're tearing up papers. They're dumping papers all over the floor. It looks like he's fucking getting ready to torch the place. Fire Brigade Commander has trucks staged at the north and the east of the hospital. They'll roll on your command. Battalion Chiefs, listen up. That's good. We wouldn't want no sprinklers going off, putting out the fire now, would we? There's no doctor. I'm afraid to deliver. I've delivered over 100 babies, Kristen. <laughs> You're going to be just fine. <laughs> Can I ask you something? How come whenever he looks at you, you look away? Do you know him or something? Save your strength. Where's the phone company guy? He said he's on his way. Ah, oh, gosh, I gotta call every number in this damn hospital hoping he's gonna pick up the phone. Listen, uh, you, you ever operated a PA before? Mr. Worthington. Pick up the phone, please. Mr. Worthington, we need to talk. The SWAT team in the stairwell says you're broadcasting on the wrong floor. Look, will you find somebody who knows how to operate this damn thing? Look, somebody's on the phone. I know who you are, you're 911, but you're also cops. Yes, sir, buddy. Well, who the hell am I supposed to talk to? Listen, I got demands here, non-negotiable demands. You hear me? Yes, sir, I hear you. Now, if you could please calm down, sir. Now, just listen to me. Now, you listen to me! I want the dirt bag who sterilized my wife delivered to me now! Sir, what, I'm am I talking too fast or something? Is there something you don't understand here? Look, this is 911, isn't it? I think we got an emergency here. You satisfied? Now they're only sick hostages. Turn that damn thing off! Now! I don't care how to turn it off! Now! I don't 
They just do what I tell them to do. I'm just gonna have to show them. Susan, hide behind that wall and you're gonna do you any good. When that bomb goes off flying, body parts are gonna kill you. <laughs> I'm not hiding. Rick, is there any chance? Are any of us gonna get out of this alive? Uh, how does that tuna fish commercial go? Sorry, Charlie. What are you gonna have, you know? A girl. A girl, huh? I wanted a girl too. God, did I want a little girl bad. Until Dr. Garrick made that one not happen. What happened to your baby girl? She died. Right here in this hospital. What do you think of that? She had open heart surgery. I used to come visit her every night. And one night I was too tired. She died. Got a chance to. It's not your fault, Rick. She returned to our Heavenly Father. You know that. Our faith teaches us that. She was a righteous spirit. God commanded Adam and Eve to go forth into the world and multiply to replenish the earth. God gives life. Anything that would prevent life is contrary to God's will. So what exactly is a tubal ligation, head nurse, huh? You know the answer to that question. It is a prostitution of the function of life. Now there's a baby spirit up there in heaven trying to get down here. She's got no place to come to. Please call my daughter. You said none of us are going to get out of this alive, so... May I? Please. Diana, listen to me. letting me make one phone call and I'm calling you, Diana. Mom. I just need to tell you how grateful I am for my family no. and how very much I love you. I love you too. All of you. Allison, Rob, Richard, Joe. There's a lot of you. I love you. Mom. Will you tell them that for me, please? I will. I just wish I could hold you one more time. Hang up the phone. Mom, what's time's up. I'm going to try to find Dad. Don't hang up, Mom. I'm scared. Don't be afraid. Just say a prayer for me.
We need to evacuate all these houses back here, Captain. They're backlighting my sniper. I'll have the state guys take care of it. Anything else? Yes, sir. That street light. Can we get them turned off? Not without turning off the whole grid for this part of the city. Shoot them out. JC, take that light out. What do you think, huh? I tried on a few other ones before I came over, but this one seemed like the best. It says it's a boy on the front there. An alto view, and it's got a little stork on it with baby, see? I don't know, it seemed like the right thing to do at the time. Hello? Who is it? Who is this? It's, uh, it's not important, dear. We don't know who all of you are, but we're praying for you. Oh, come on, give it to me. It's the cops. Just hang it up. They're trying to psych me out, trying to confuse me. They just said they were praying for us. Tell your men they have the green light. If they get him in the crosshairs, do him. We need more intelligence on the male hostage, sir. We'll get it. The epidural's run out. Well, I don't think we're going to be able to hold back nature much longer. Rick? 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 We're going to have to deliver. So, deliver. Please, not like this. Could we have privacy? Back in there. Adam, go close the curtains in there. Oh, Adam. Here. Good. Barbara, see what you can find. Linens, basin, and some scissors. I got some movement here. Got a male in a baseball cap, possible suspect in the crosshairs. I'm not gonna get another shot like this. I can whack him. Hold your fire. Command, what's the suspect wearing? The target has a maroon shirt. Repeat. What is the suspect wearing? Target's clear. I can cap him. Remember, nobody even touched this door. We're all history. Just little burnt spots on the carpet. Is that clear? The cigarette's so bad. I swear if we ever get out, it's gonna quit smoking. Okay, it's perfect. Tell her to go ahead and push. Go ahead and scream if you have to. Just let it out. You'll kill us. You'll kill us if we scream. Switch with me, Barbara. She's your patient. Doing good, Chris. I love you. Oh, that's great. Just keep it coming. That's perfect. Take another deep breath. Okay, give a good push now. Good. That's good. That's great. There's the baby's head. <laughs> She's got lots of dark hair. Just a couple more pushes now, okay? Adam, get over there and help hold her back up. Here it comes. The head's out. We need a bulb syringe. Just melt the nose and throat. Okay. Pinch it like you would when you come out of the pool. That's it. Good. The cord's too tight around the neck. You can't oh. cut it. You don't have a clamp. It's not working. It must be a short cord. Deliver the posterior shoulder, and I'll try to ease the cord over the anterior arm. Oh, boy. The only way we're going to get this baby's feet out is to fold it. Good, good, good. Keep it up. That's it. That's it. Keep going. Good girl. Chris. Oh. This is beautiful. Is she okay? Oh. Is she okay? Oh. She's perfect. She's beautiful. Did you see the way that he looked at her? He's gonna take her, I know it. 
Kristen, stop it. His baby died at this hospital and he's gonna make my Galen die here too. Kristen, please, honey, we won't let that happen. You can't stop him! Pizza Pantry. We don't deliver in half an hour. It's free. Mr. Worthington? Rick? Can I call you Rick? Who is this? My name is Mr. Crowder. You mean Officer Crowder, don't you? We need to talk, Rick. No, we don't. You need to get that gutless Garrick up here now. You hear me? I got nothing to say to you. Wait, wait, Rick. Don't hang up the phone. I mean, take my number just in case. You might want to talk to me. I'm here to help you, Rick. Answer it, boy. Please do what he wants. Let me talk to him. He doesn't want to talk to you. He'll let us go if you do what he wants. Who's this? Gary Downey. We need food. That's good. That's good. We can work on that, Gary. Cans only. Nothing that can be open, nothing that can be contaminated. He's got to show good faith. Tell him he has to send the babies out. Captain. What's up? My guys haven't moved a muscle in five hours. They're stiffening up. We're going to need replacements. Call Salt Lake City SWAT. They got hostage negotiators that work in tandem. What's the guy's name? See if you can get him. You know, the hot shot that negotiated the prison riots last month. Bell. Sergeant Don Bell. Yeah. We can replace the whole team. Got any problems with that? Joe's Bar and Grill. It's your dime. We can do the food, Rick. But you're going to have to show some good faith. Why don't you send the babies out? Oh, what is it with you people? You got a problem with the language or something? Listen, I'm going to blow this whole damn building up and everybody in it. You haven't got that through your little pea brain yet, huh? You better get Garrick up here real fast. There's something else I want, too. I want to talk to my wife. To hell with the food. Just get me my wife. What does your wife look like? She's pretty. It's like you. You got the same color hair. She looks real good for having had 10 kids. We've got a real red ball here. Talk to me. One nurse is already dead and he's got a bomb. What kind of bomb? Don't know. How many hostages? Well, we think there's nine or ten. Four babies, some nurses. Has anybody seen the bomb? No, we don't know. Pete Corsani has the bomb. You don't know? This has been going on since 11.30? Shots have been fired and that's all you can tell me? Hold on there. We just rolled on this an hour ago. We're as new to the party as you. Sergeant Don Bell, Salt Lake. Crowder, East Coker. Just getting set up in here. We were over in the PBX with very little success. Have you got the phones restricted? Try and You want to take over? No, you're the primary. You keep me in the primary. When we switch Salt Lake SWAT for your guys, I'll take it then. Okay. Any contact? Not since five. How far have you gotten with them? Well, uh, we're stalling. Trying to wear them down. Uh, you need food, medical supplies. So we can work on it, that type of thing. He gets agitated, hangs up. What are his demands? He wants Dr. Garrick brought up to him right away. He won't negotiate. He keeps repeating that same old mantra. You want to save these people's lives, you bring me Garrick. 
Now he wants his wife, too. Where is she? I don't know. What do we know? Skinny, I got she's petrified of the guy. We got some real chain of command problems I think you ought to know about. His sandy jurisdiction, the highest they got is captain. Where's the chief? He's on vacation. They're looking for him. <laughs> Someone says he's out ice fishing. Hmm. I was supposed to have a date with my wife last night. Me and Karen grew up in the valley. We were high school sweethearts. Never dated anybody else. I lettered in football, and, <laughs> and she was in the pet club. <laughs> we grew up in the church. Then when I finished high school, I served a mission to Australia. My son went on a mission to Australia. He was in Melbourne. Where were you? Two and a half years now. My wife has turned into a real. One minute she's hot. Next minute she's cold as ice. Ever since that butcher, Garrick. You know what the church teaches? A man is to be the priesthood bearer. A woman is to be the child bearer. Makes me the spiritual head of my household. And for that, I should have harmony. I should have loyalty. What do I get instead? Betrayal. I can't tell you with any degree of certainty exactly where they are. You're gonna have to narrow it by phone. But an assault is out, am I right? All we can go for is containment? I want to get my men upstairs, check the fire doors and the stairwells, see if they're ready. I'll try to raise them on the phone and distract them. Our bomb tech's been over Worthington's house. The good news is it's not dynamite. The bad news is they found an empty case of Kenistick, more powerful than dynamite. Holds about 50 tubes. The makings for a timer or a dead man switch. Worthington's got a temper. So what we've got here is a heavily armed guy who's losing control over what he can force his wife to do, over how to handle his kids, over what he can force this hospital and this doctor to do, and he's got to make a public point. By the way, where's this Dr. Garrett? He was taken home to evacuate his family. We think Worthington may have planted a bomb there, too. You OK? Yeah. <laughs> no, about 24 hours. Try to get Worthington on the phone. I want to see if he'll talk to me. This is Crowder. I want my wife, you hear me? Yeah, we can work on that. No, no, where is she? I called my house, my kid said you came and took her. Now I want her here, now! Rick, I don't know where she is. I haven't been out of this room for hours. Oh, my heart beats for you. What do you think I am, stupid, huh? Now get her here, now! Rick, you hear me, now! Rick. Try him again. You two, nurses, you decide. You decide who's gonna be the first to die. They're forcing me to do this, you know? Just like that nurse. She had to grab the gun. It's all her fault. If I were you people, I'd start praying. Because the end... Has come. Rick, please. Shut up! And what do you people know about ether anyway? It's an anesthetic. Oh, yeah? What else? It's highly flammable. Bingo. Damn it, pick it up. 
My men have ether in the hall. Get your butts out of there. Move back. Let's go. Mobilize the fire trucks. I want a SWAT guy riding shotgun. Lay the hose as close as you can to the building. Tell Malone to get over here. I want his men ready to assault. EMT, stand by. Adam, give me your lighter. We're all gonna die. I don't have it. Don't lie to me! I left it downstairs, I swear. Leave him alone. He's telling you the truth. Rick! Don't! We're on your side! <laughs> oh, boy. This must be your lucky day. <laughs> you don't know how close we just came. You really on my side? You. Adam, break out a window. Not in here, in the other room. Watch out! I know you probably don't have enough milk, but would you try to get her to take a breast? We have to do something to feed these babies. Gary. Get over here. survive. You go to the other room with that window I shot out, yell down for him to bring you a ladder. Can we get a fire truck in there? Can we get a ladder truck in there? Negative. He could pop our guys like fish in a barrel. We got to do something. Can we hand carry a ladder in? I can't advise it. Well, damn it, man. You have to take the chance. Please get me a ladder. Well, it's taking too long. Get back in here. Oh, He's letting me go. Perry, just get back in now. Steve, I want anybody to help me. Oh, why would It's your 
fault. Now she's gonna die with the rest of us. I can't restrict the phones. We didn't put these in. I don't have a clue about how to go about that. Why the hell are you here, then? They called me in. They got me setting up all kinds of lines. I feel sorry for him. Why won't the police let him talk to his wife? Is that so much to ask? I know, he was gonna let you go, and they didn't do anything to help. Susan, are you afraid? Have you noticed how good these babies have been? They've never gotten really upset. Not at the gunfire, not at the screaming. Yes, I'm afraid. But I'm not afraid of dying. In the few moments of quiet we've had, I just prayed. I think about how lucky I am. To have a husband who's my best friend. To have a family that truly loves me and... Wonderful life I've led. <laughs> Carrie, don't you let your mind think that. That he's not so bad. I saw him kill Carla. He shot her in the back. Carrie. Answer it. Yes. Yeah, my wife had an appointment today. I wondered if I could change it to a later time. Hello, is there anybody there? Somebody my has an appointment with Dr. Novak. They want to change the time to later. <laughs> what was that all about? I just found another number they answered. If anything happened, I got an emergency line to reach them on. Carrie. See if he'll talk to me, Carrie. He won't. Just please get his wife. That's all he wants. We're trying to do that. Is there anything else? Command center. Who is this? This is the command center. Well, get off the line. I'm talking to one of the hostages. This is the command center. Who the hell is what this? What are you doing? Somebody else is on this line. Check it out. Get off the phone. Oh, this is Captain Price in the command center. I'm talking to one of the hostages. Where this line? What in the hell is going on in here? You guys are tapping into my line in the middle of my making contact with the hostage. Sorry. We need to know what's going on every step of the way. You are undermining my ability to negotiate. Hey. Don't forget who's in charge. Hey. If you ever put another wire into my negotiating room, I don't care who orders it, I will arrest you and have you taken out of here. answer any news on the whereabouts of his wife you're not gonna believe this please be gentle she's been here all along did you know this who the blonde woman in the hall
Tell me about the guns. I tried to get rid of them. I gave them to my neighbor. But Rick went looking for them, and he made me bring them back today. I mean, yesterday. I mean, he's threatened before, but he never did anything. You can ask him at the hospital, ask Dr. Garrick. I just didn't take him serious. Here's what I want to ask you. Do you think he wants to die? He's not suicidal? No. Rick won't ever kill himself. Okay. I get the distinct impression he's going to do something that forces us to kill him. I'm concerned about the wife. The personal feeling is she's never going to talk to him. What if she changes her mind? I don't trust her. Two things are happening. One, he really does want to talk with her. And I put her on the phone with him, which is against every rule in the book, and she ticks him off. Boom. Two, he really does love her. And I put her on the phone with him. And he wants the explosion to be her last vision of him. Boom. So how do you want to handle it? I'm going to say I'm looking for her. I don't know if, if we're going to make it out alive. But would you please tell my little Anthony that I love him? Do you hear? Please tell him that I love him. And he's all I'm thinking about. How old is he? Two. My little two-year-old used to go to work with me. He'd ride up on the tractor. He used to cry every day so he could go to work with me. <laughs> Cheeks, they would... They'd turn red like, like... little crab apples. God, what have I done to my family? <laughs> Carrie, why don't you see if they'll let me talk to my wife? Hello? Hello? This is Mr. Bell. You're eating something, aren't you? I'm not eating. Who is this? You lied to us. Who is this? Carrie. What are you guys doing to us? All he wants to do is talk to his wife. What is so hard about that? Well, Carrie, that has to come from someone higher up than me, but we're working on that. And just so you'll know, his wife doesn't want to talk to him. And we're working on that, too. Carrie, see if he'll talk to me. I want to introduce myself. He wants to talk to you. Hello. Hi, Rick. My name is Mr. Bell. Let's get something straight right now. You're not Mr. Anybody. You're a cop. And you guys think you're dealing with some backwoods idiot here, but I'm not stupid. And you people are making mistakes that you're going to find awful hard to live with. I don't think you're stupid, Rick. I just want to talk about... There's nothing to negotiate. If you were here, I would give you the pleasure of reading my lips. Now, you got two options. You either bring me that bastard Garrick, and if he's a real man, he'll show, or you bring me my wife. That's it. Don't jerk me around! I know you're recording this conversation. I know you probably got psychiatrists telling you what's going on here. 
Well, let me tell you what's going on here. I'm going to kill an awful lot of people if you don't start doing exactly what I tell you to do. Hey, hey, Rick, I'm new here. I'm not trying to jerk you around. If you want to talk to your wife, I'll try to get her. What if she doesn't want to talk to you? Don't start with this. What are you telling me? My own wife is afraid of me. You just get her here. You get Garrick here. That mother raping pig, and he's the cause of all of this. Rick, let's talk about your wife. I, I still want to talk about your wife. I don't want to talk about her. I want to talk about Garrick. How about some food, Rick? Terry said you were all hungry. Right, right. So you can drug it? Sealed cans if you want. What about the babies? Uh, what are we going to do about the babies? You listen to me. Those babies are going to hell. Just like I am going to hell. We've got a bigger problem than him wanting to kill an individual. He said he wants to put the hospital out of business. To me, that means explosion. Also, he made several references to running out of time. We can't cut the water to the hospital because of the bomb. We can't cut the electricity because of the babies. I know that this goes contrary to everything that I've been saying up to this point, but I'd be willing to let the wife have a little conversation with him. I saw something in her eyes. I think that hearing his voice got to her. We could script it. I'd be right beside her. Only if he gives us the baby. I've already tried that. And? And he told me to go to hell. No deal, then. There comes a point when you have to trust. Don't think of it as blinking first. It could work. Just keep talking to him. The chief's on his way. He'll decide. Well, where is he? How long? He'll be here, too. What am I supposed to do in the meantime? Keep working on him. Sound up. Okay. So that's what we're left with, Jeff. A very erratic gunman, refusing food, refusing to speak with his wife, and one nurse is dead. Judy, have the police been able to locate his wife? Well, we understand she's here somewhere on the grounds, but he's refusing to speak with her. What? We also understand. Who in the hell is releasing to the press? The last thing you want a hostage taker to know is that he killed somebody. How the hell do you expect me to negotiate out of that? Calm down. Somebody must have leaked it. You know what he's doing now? He has the hostages calling all the TV and radio stations in the area, and the stations are reporting back to me saying what a nice guy Rick is, how we won't feed those people, and that the police aren't cooperating, and the hostages are defending him. Do you know what the Stockholm Syndrome is? Hostages in a long siege begin to identify with their captors. In Stockholm, they actually shielded him when he surrendered. If they turn on us, we have a dramatically changed playing field. There's only one person that I'm confident we can count on. Susan Woolley. I know she won't give in for two reasons. One, she has a prior history with Worthington, and two, she saw the killing. For all our sakes, I hope I'm right. My niece's name is Caitlin. She was born at 3.23 this morning. That's great, Carrie. I didn't know there was a baby born. How's everything else? Can't you guys do something? Can't you help us? We're trying, Carrie. We're gonna let him talk to his wife. It might take a little time. Is he nearby? Uh-huh. Can you answer questions with a yes or no? Uh-uh. Is there a bomb? <laughs> Are we ever gonna get out of here? You okay, Carrie? You have to be strong for me, okay? Hello? Hello? Carrie? 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 Hello? Lines went down. Whole hospital's dead. My dearest husband and family, many thoughts and feelings have been racing through my head all night. The overpowering emotion is that of love for all of you. I have made many mistakes in my life which I wish I hadn't. 
but they seem quite insignificant in light of what has been going on. This man is in such pain, and it has caused me to realize even more graphically how important love is. Tonight I witnessed death and then birth within about four hours, and it confirmed for me that life is eternal. I have no doubt about it. Please never forget my love for you. Go on with your lives and be happy. That will be my greatest fulfillment. All my love. Are you finished? You didn't sign it. If I sign it, that'll mean I've given up. We still need medical supplies and blankets for these babies, you know, formula, food for us. We really need this stuff. Ask him if he'll give us something in return. They want something in return. Barbara, are you still there? What's going on? Barbara? Go to hell! Listen, you tell him. No formula, no medical supplies unless he gives us the babies. It's non-negotiable. All due respect, but if he gives us the babies, what the hell does he need the formula for? Sergeant Bell, just demand the babies. You have trained medical people in there. And if they request medical supplies and you don't give them to them and something happens, every one of you in this room is going to be crucified. Sergeant, we're going to have a meeting. I don't know. They made it pretty obvious I wasn't wanted in there. I've had several run-ins with those monkeys. They keep saying no to whatever we plan. It's crazy. We've got to get more info. We need scouting. They're talking about handing it off to the FBI. One of those pencil necks is in there now. They've even withdrawn the order to cap him. I didn't even know they'd given the green light. stealing. I didn't have anything to do with it. By the time we rode home on our bikes, Stor had called my dad. It wasn't anything much. It was a candy bar or something. My brother pointed at me and he said he did it. Well, my daddy came at me and beat me up. <laughs> He didn't even ask me, did I do it? He just beat me. You can't let yourself see this as the end. You're a man in a lot of pain. And I always thought that pain gave us a chance to test the resources of our spirit. You're still in control. The other side of that family pain is love, and it's a kind of love that you never find anyplace else. Not on a mission or among friends. I know what you're trying to do to me. I'm not trying to do anything to you. I'm scared. Answer it. flies in the cooler. They want to know if they can lower it from the roof. Hell no. If I hear one person up on that roof, this whole building's gonna go. Oh, what do you want me to tell them? Get yourself a good quarterback. Throw it through the window. He said he wants you to throw it. Th Hello? 
Are you there? Hello? The phone went dead again. You get to be so lucky. Well, our brain trust suggested either a helicopter or lowering it from the roof. Worthington made the equally brilliant suggestion, get a good quarterback and heave it through the window. I thought I'd take it in my own hands. You know we're coming. All the phones are dead again. They moved my phone to command, so you might call this a surprise visit. Oh, so it's your bright idea to surprise some guy's got dynamite and ether. Shut up. Rick, I've got no supplies. We're having some problems with the phones. I'm just going to leave the supplies outside the door. I don't want you to shoot me, Rick. That would ruin my whole day. Is he going to answer? What you said about not signing the letter? I meant it. You want to put my son on the phone? Yes, here he is. Who is this? Where's Belle? Hold on. Look, I told you I want to talk to my wife. I don't want to talk. Cellular. Does this thing work? Yeah. Where have you been? Couldn't you hear me? We're having trouble with the phone lines again. You can dial out, but all the internal lines are fouled up. We've been trying to call you. Are you okay? What's the deal? He thinks he wants to give up. Yeah? He says he'll hand the gun to Adam. If you can just speak to his wife and his bishop. That's good. That's good. Okay, you're going to have to trust me here, Barbara. Don't say anything. It's going to take me a little while to sell this, so you have to keep him talking. First, I'm going to ask you some questions. Just answer yes or no. You made unauthorized contact. Look, we were having phone problems. I found a number I could get through on. Come on! The guy's ready to give up. Our hostage rescue team is already on its way. I want you to stall. What are you asking for? Four hours? Three? Yeah. Listen to me. You have to trust somebody if we're ever going to resolve this. Don't trust Worthington. Don't trust the hostages. Trust me. I've been talking to this guy and his hostages ever since early this morning. They're tired. They're hungry. They're disoriented. He's had time to think. I'm telling you, he's right now. Tell him we have a deal. When his wife and Bishop are on the floor, he will hand his gun to Adam. There will be no cops. Line up a couple of bulletproof beds. What's going on? Your guys are out of here. We're taking over. Carrie. I want you to have this.
don't think they're going to need this. Why don't you take it? But you all hate me for the rest of your life for what I've done to you here. I wouldn't blame you. You sure have had a pretty baby girl there. It's my baby, Anthony. Hey, Ray. It's me, Bishop Neely. I'm here in the stairwell with Karen. They won't let me come any farther until you give up the gun. There's cops all over the place. Graham? Oh, no. That is definitely not in the plan. How can you see the cops? I'm taking him back inside! You guys had your chance and you sure blew it! Please, it's not everything he said! He didn't just say it! Don't fall apart! You just keep your word! Tell your men to stop yelling! They're not my men! I thought it was all a go. I don't know why there are cops in the hall. I'm sorry, Barbara. All right. Mimi, I want you to go out in the hallway. You get my bishop in here. I don't care how you do it. You just do it, all right? Go. Will you come and talk to him? Please. You gotta make him let us go. I got a baby in there. A wife. Just get us out of this. Take it! Get it, get it! Let's go! Let me go! I gotta go back and start! Get his arm! Chris! Take him out of here! They lied, Rick! What's going on? Why are you letting this happen? Rick, no! Don't touch me! You can't. We've come this far. Please, you've got to trust someone. Someone's got to give in. Rick? I'm your wife, Rick. I love you. Well, that sounds rehearsed. Well, what do you want me to say? What else am I supposed to say? Listen, Listen to me. You have to trust me. Put that gun to my head and we'll both walk out there together, okay? I'll do whatever you want me to do. But you think, Rick, you have children. You have your faith. I can see you through anything. I know that now. Please, Rick. Will you let me go out there and talk to them? Do that. Uh, he's supposed to surrender first. Come on. It wasn't the plan. You weren't supposed to be here. When his wife came on the floor, he was supposed to hand the gun over to Adam. We didn't know that. Now come on, come on, come on, come on. No, I won't come on. I won't leave the other hostages. Why don't you do what he asks? He just wants to talk to his wife. Look, so far, everything he said he was going to do, he's done. He says that if he can talk to his wife, he'll let us go. We can't do that. But you can let seven of us die. Rick, 
If they promise to let you see her, will you hand me the gun? Come on, we can do this. Look around. Our lives are in your hands. At this moment, you hold the power over life and death. Do you trust me, Rick? Yes, I trust you. And hand me the gun. matters. So, what do we do now? Let's just get out of here. Any of the brass talk to you yet? No. Nothing. You know, if she hadn't tried to be Rambo, I never would have hurt her. Sergeant, you got one of the hostages over here that might talk to you. Thanks. You, Bell? Guy was in charge, right? I just want to let you know you're the stupidest son of a bitch to walk the face of the earth. You didn't have to let this go on as long as you did. Each one of you and your men is more incompetent than hey, the next. Hey, pal. You know where you're standing? You're standing outside. It's a beautiful day. The sun's going down. You got a new baby. I call that a win. I'll see ya.